Okay. We made it up the little bunny hill. Oh boy. You ready to do this, baby? Take your time, take your time. Keep him straight, keep him straight. I'm the ski instructor. We, we couldn't even get no left. They were all booked up. So they're out here fending for ourselves on the bunny hill. Hey, turn sideways. One foot at a time, turn sideways. Turn the other one side. Turn sideways. Use those sticks to balance yourself. Turn the other one, you're gonna fall. There you go. Let's just walk sideways. I'm ready to ski down this mountain. There's the main mountain right there, folks. We're going down the bunny hill. Alright. So if you feel like you can't stop, just lay it down, babe. Oh, we skiing, babe. Oh, shit. Ah! It's Thursday morning. It is 1028 in the morning, and we're getting ready to go on vacation. Me and my wife, we're taking a little three-day trip and we're going to the mountains. We're going skiing, y'all. I've never been skiing before in my life. This is going to be a vlog with me and my wife. So hopefully it's going to be a good time. We're going to be driving there. It's a little bit more than... Man, that car was driving erratic as hell. A little more than a four-hour drive there. Joe, the road trip pioneer. I'll probably be doing most of this driving and can't wait to share this experience with you guys. Hopefully, it's going to be a real chill time because Joe be stressing. And I'm looking forward to a little R&R. &R. So let's get the trip underway. Come on, you guys wanna go skiing? Let's go. All right, we finally made it to this amazing resort. And my God, look at this. I just wanna see. This is the library. Something about elevator, oh yeah, elevator bank right here. Oh, this thing looks like the shining right here. My wife hates elevators. Oh God. Oh, we're there. That thing flew. All right, 15, 22. 21, 23, 24, 25. Paid, you can enter. Got the room with the view. All right. <laughs> wow. 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 Okay. Okay, this thing is super old. Super nice though. We got the pink wallpaper. Damn. Flat screen TV. We got a view, supposedly. I don't know about that. We're looking out at, yeah, we got a little bit of a view. I guess this place was built in 19, was built in 1766. There's that. There's the mountains back there. Nice little bathroom. Bing bang. You like it? Love it. This is cute. This is where we are, folks. The Homestead Spa and Boiling Springs. Cool. All right, so we're gonna get uh, cozy. And then we'll get a chance to check this place out. We drove forever through the mountains, through one-way roads that were super windy and ah, just very...
There's a couple of luggage racks here. You know, like you can put those on there for you? Luggage racks? Yes, yeah, sir. Should be set in here for a couple. Oh yeah, that'd be perfect. All right. All right, good deal. So we just brought the luggage up. The uh, the guy that works here brought the luggage up. He was sitting there waiting for the tip. Now I was gonna tip him regardless. I gave him a five dollar bill, and I hoped that that was enough. This joint's so fancy. I don't know if a five is gonna fly. But we got a we got a hallway in our hotel room. And we got these luggage racks that he just put our stuff on. <laughs> we got some robes. Okay, though. Know. We got the safe to put the Bitcoins in. Word. All right, so we're going to explore this place and relax. It's vacation time. I want to ski and explore. So that'll be nice. All right, so I want to try to film as much as I possibly can because... This is probably going to be the best weather that we're going to see while we're here. Look at this hotel. This place is massive. This thing looks like The Shining. Damn. Very nice. So we just got a chance to check out the restaurant a little bit. Babe, what are you thinking of this place? It's amazing. Isn't it beautiful? It is. It's very nice. It's like 50 degrees. We don't see any snow, so we're wondering where the, where the skiing is going to be. But we just talked to the waitress, and they said that there is snow up on the mountain and they got everything jumping there they said skiing is done for the day it's three o'clock in the afternoon on a thursday how is skiing done and it's like 56 degrees out here it's beautiful right over there where you can't see it through these trees that's a ice rink man look at this place bang very nice beautiful wife is loving this they got heated pools I'm ready to go swimming yeah. haven't been swimming since pre-corona damn I want to go swimming oh wait there's the pool right there oh and there's people in the pool oh yeah we about to go swimming oh god what is going on everybody good morning hey welcome to friday morning it feels like a saturday though ah i almost bit my tongue right there all right we are just waking up bright and early it's eight o'clock in the morning from the overlook hotel Slept pretty good. Thank God I ain't got no hangover this morning. I, I drank a fair amount last night. We're on vacation. Not a lot. I drank four beers, one mixed drink. But I was trashed. <clears throat> Jeez. No water neither. But anyways, I'm up bright and early and I'm ready to make a good day of it today. There goes the shuttle bus right there. All right, folks. That bus right there is what takes us to the mountain. It runs continuously on a loop all day long, running people up and down to the mountain. They got a bar, they got tubing, they got skiing. They got food up there, they got snow. They got snow up on the mountain, so I can't wait to go experience the skiing. I'm taking all of you guys skiing with us. Anyways, so some interesting things. Last night we went to dinner at the hotel restaurant. I didn't get the Wagyu. I didn't get the Wagyu steak, I got the prime ribeye. I think is what it was. Fantastic steak that I ate last night. Pretty decent service up in the restaurant. And, you know, sometimes they'll give you like little chocolates when they give you the bill. Or a little mints, maybe. Never in my life have I ever received... Trail mix. But what a, what a nice gesture. Maybe the trail mix is for the protein because when you're skiing, you're going to be exerting a lot of energy. Who knows? So anyways, another interesting thing I, I want to share with you guys. This is pretty interesting. So in our hotel room, give you guys a look at the messed up bed. You know, we got a little dresser right here. Little nightstands, tables, chairs, pink wallpaper. Uh, I've showed you the room. But I want to show it to you again real quick because I was trying to find a phone charger 
or a place where I could plug my phone in. So I, I was able to plug my phone in way back there. But as I was looking for a plug, I was like, I was like leaning the table forward, right? Like trying to see behind here. And let me show you what happened when I leaned the table forward. Watch this. So I leaned the table forward. And then the drawer popped open. And up inside of the drawer to the nightstand, bang! Yo! What in the world? We got the, we got the bare skin jimmies. We got the regulars. We got, man. Hey, yo, somebody, somebody, one finger money, somebody, those ain't mine neither. Somebody was having a party up in here, whoever was staying up in here prior to us. That's pretty crazy to think about. But anyways, it's a beautiful day. It's a Friday and we're going skiing today. So I hope you guys are having a great one and I can't wait to share this little mini vacay with all of you. All right. Yes, ma'am. We are on the shuttle bus. Getting ready to go up the mountain. Got all our gear. Warm weather. So warm. Got our warm, our warm attire. Let's see what's up on top of the mountain. We made it up to the mountain, y'all. Is that the ski lessons right over there? Yep, we'll need every one of them. Okay, we made it up the little bunny hill. Oh boy. You ready to do this, baby? Take it down, take it down. Keep them straight, keep them straight. I'm the ski instructor. We, we couldn't even get no lessons. They were all booked up. So we're, we're out here fending for ourselves on the bunny hills. <laughs> Babe, turn sideways. Okay. One foot at a time. Turn sideways. Turn the other one sideways. Turn it sideways. Okay. Use those sticks <laughs> to balance yourself. <laughs> turn the other one. You're going to fall. There you go. Now just walk sideways. I'm ready to ski down this mountain. There's the main mountain right there, folks. We're going down the bunny hills. All right, so if you feel like you can't stop, just lay it down, babe. <laughs> oh shit, oh boy. Pizza, french fries. Oh yeah. There she goes. Oh, we skiing, babe. Oh shit. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that was rough. That was really rough. Ah. Woo. Ah. Okay. Okay. Ah. Hey, babe, you see how fast I was going? Oh. Oh. My butt. Woo. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Hey. That shit hurt. Oh, that hurt pretty bad. I don't know. Is it red right there? the bunny hill no more we haven't fallen going down this little mid mountain and i'm actually going to try to film this because i've been looking pretty yeah i should be good all right i'm gonna film this
Open it up a little bit. Open it up a little bit. Okay. We're going down the trail. Waiting on my wifey. Oh, now we, we Olympic skiers now. Okay, Joe's going. Joe's going. And we're going fast. And we're going super fast. Super fast. A little slide in action. Woo! Oh boy, backflip time. Professionals. What do you think, babe? I said I was gonna do a backflip. <laughs> this is the funnest thing I've done in a long time. And we're still not down the mountain. Going down a little bit more. All right. Come on, baby, open it up. Great pizza. Pizza time. Oh, oh. oh God. I almost busted it. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Monday here on After Prison Show. And I'm back from the little vacay that me and my wife took over the weekend. We took a little three-day ski trip vacation, our first vacation in a while, where we went to a really awesome place. It was called the Homestead, the Omni Resort, the Homestead, in a place called Hot Springs, Virginia. Now, you're probably like, damn, Joe, you was just vlogging and then all of a sudden we're sitting on your couch. What happened? I just didn't get a chance to do any more filming while there. And in fact, we would end up leaving a whole day early because of a emergency back at the house that we had to get back here for. Neither here nor there. So even though we didn't go for the three nights that we had hoped to go for and only went for the two nights, it was still a hell of an experience at a very, very ritzy little type of a place. Plus the doggos missed us so much. God, if you could see them right now, they're just sitting right here beside me looking, looking like the cutest, saddest little puppy dogs that there is. You know, I always like to tell stories about places and man, do I got a few that I'd like to be able to share with you guys as I wrap up this little vacation vlog video. So, this place called the Homestead. This is like out in the middle of the mountains, in the middle of nowhere. Again, in a place called Hot Springs, Virginia, close to a place called Bath, Virginia, a place that I'd never heard of until actually going there. We passed by quite a few prison areas to get to this place up in the mountains. And I wonder if they call it Bath because of the hot springs that are there where people actually, maybe they used to bathe there. Yeah, there's probably some truth to that. Now, spoiler, one of the big things that we went up here for, two big things that we went up here for, skiing and hot springs. We would only get to see the former, not the latter. We didn't get a chance to see any hot springs while we were there. And the way that this Omni Homestead Resort packages this, I believe, is that the Hot springs are a part of the spa package, which unfortunately we would not get to partake in. We tried to make reservations with the spa. You know, Joe wanted to get the little mud bath or I wanted to get in the hot springs. That's what I was really hopeful for. And maybe get a massage, massages there. They had couples massages, 60 minutes a piece, $200 each. That would have been a $400 massage. Now, me and my wife, when we came back, again, came back a day early, we ended up going and getting an Asian massage last night. That was only 180 for both of us, including a $60 tip that I left. More on that story sometime. There's actually a pretty funny story about all of that too, but I don't wanna make this super long. The skiing was amazing. My first time ever getting a chance to do that. Never in my life did I ever think that I would be skiing. You know, that seems like some pretty ritzy type of stuff to do. And trust me, there were plenty of pretty ritzy type of people up there doing it. And so were me and my wife. Quite enjoyable. Great exercise. Hell, if I lived on a mountain, I would ski all day. That shit is super fun. Super scary, but super fun as well. 
This hotel that we stayed at is a very old place, sort of reminded me of the Overlook Hotel from that movie The Shining, Jack Nicholson. This place was first established back in 1766. Now, they've got that plastered all over the place, but when you see history of the hotel, it mentions 1920 is when they were rebuilding the hotel that was first built, I believe, in like the 1900s. And then that one burnt down and then they built this monstrosity of a bigger hotel there in its place. I don't know the square footage of this place. It's massive. I would guesstimate hundreds of thousands of square footage for just the hotel complex. I asked somebody about the 1766 thing and they said that that's when this place first got established. So I guess that there was something there prior. There was a fire in 1900s and then they rebuilt the place and I think that that was taking place during the 1920s. I got some really cool pictures from that. There's pictures all over this place of just the history of this place. Pictures from like the early 1900s type of time and it's almost like being in a museum. Now another interesting thing about this hotel was the political aspect of this. This is a place where Thomas Jefferson went to. This is a place where the Nixons went to. Like every president, Truman, what was his name? Was it Truman? The guy that did the park stuff? Thurgood? Thurgood? I can't remember his name, but a lot of presidents used to go to this place. And there's oil paintings of presidents all throughout this hotel. And it just really makes you like feel kind of special to be sitting in a, in a building where so many people from history once stayed at. Made me feel kind of special, that is. Now, a few things that I want to mention and I'm going to wrap this video up. Everything there, I would learn, was either 20 or 200. There was no in-between. So it was coffee in the morning for me and my wife. That was 20 bucks. Drinks for me and my wife, 20 bucks. Everything was 20 or 200. Any meals that we ate, 200, we went to a buffet, that joint was $75 a piece. Who they think they was, Captain D's? Isn't it Captain D's, the really fancy seafood restaurant around here? But I ain't gonna lie, that place was super fancy. I don't share that for any kind of flex, just for perspective. Yo, ski resorts are stupid expensive. When we were on the mountain, you could eat food. We ate lunch, me and my wife, we got a burger a piece and a, a Bulvarian pretzel with cheese, $50. For that, a bottle of water, $5. A Gatorade, $5. The ski package, no skis if you wanna rent all your own equipment. For anybody who might be considering doing this, a ski pass is $50 a piece, so that's $100 for you and somebody else. If you got a family, RIP to your wallet. The rental equipment, for ski passes for me and my wife and for the rental equipment, that was 200 bucks. That wasn't really that bad, and we skied all day from nine o'clock till two o'clock. They stopped skiing at four, we were dead by like 2, 2.30. Yeah, we stopped skiing right around there. A lot of super fancy people up there, noses in the air everywhere. Uh, one conversation that I overheard was a woman who ran into her friends from the yacht club or from the country club or from the breakfast club. The breakfast club, that was kind of funny. But she must have said to these folks like three times in the, in the span of less than two minutes, oh yeah, my husband, he is co-owner of the Commonwealth. You talking about the state? Cause that's what they call Virginia. What, he owned the state? I think she was talking about some kind of a brewery or brewing company, the Commonwealth, some kind of a fancy beer, I guess. Yo, she said that shit like three times in less than two minutes. Yeah, my husband, I thought you knew. I thought everybody knew. My husband, he's co-owner of the Commonwealth. The Commonwealth, that's why I'm here. It's why I'm here. We've got a boat, it's called the Commonwealth. Gosh, oh man, money up there, oh. A lot of money up there. The final thing that I want to share with you guys is something interesting that I ran across while staying there. Because anytime that we go somewhere, I want to learn the history of a place like that. And I stumbled upon a story that took place from 2009. Now, this is not an easy story to find. And I can't imagine how much it cost to try to bury this story. But I want to share it with you guys regardless because it's quite horrific. You know, the folks that work at this hotel are an interesting lot, to say the least. And I wonder to myself, because there's nothing around this area, like a little one-road town with nothing for real. The grocery store, the closest grocery store is 20 miles away. I feel like if you work at this place, you live at this place, and I got to doing some research, and back in 2009, there was a shooting 
that took place. A very unfortunate situation where a disgruntled employee ended up shooting two other co-workers, killing them both, and then running off into the wilderness. And mind you, it is nothing but mountains around this place. Now, allegedly, this guy, maybe I found a picture. If I haven't, maybe I found his name and I've included that down below. He was mad at the fact that they had asked him to work during a busy dinner shift, which I don't understand why anybody would be mad about that because, again, when we went to the buffet, we had a waiter who really didn't do nothing. He brought me and my wife a drink, a water, and a beer apiece. That was it. And he took a couple of plates away. And mind you, when we got the bill, the bill was $160. And I tipped this dude, oh God, I tipped this dude $45 or 50 bucks for nothing. So you're making a 50 every table. I don't know what there is to be mad about. You're making buku dollars up there. But anyways, this disgruntled employee, he killed two other people. They locked the whole Hot Springs area down, the whole Bath County got locked down as this manhunt was underway and they never found this guy, which is really crazy. And it wasn't until 2012, I believe eight miles away, something along them lines, if I'm incorrect about any of these statistics, I apologize. But in 2012, they found some human remains with the same caliber pistol that was used in this hotel shooting. And then remnants of the clothing that was described in terms of what the assailant was wearing who did this. So it's crazy to think that they never found this guy. And they said, you know, that when they found him eight miles away, that they never expected him to get that far. So they never were canvassing that far out either. Really crazy. I want to share with you guys that it's nice to be able to do nice things. Let me just wrap it up with that. People say that I'm always flexing about everything. So what if I am? And I've worked hard to get to this point, And I encourage anybody else to be able to work hard to get to a good point in your life where you're able to do good things for you and for yours. You know, there were tons of families up there. Everybody at this place was having a great time and everybody was relatively kind. Didn't really deal with any kind of negativity except for the prices on everything. That's enough to break your heart and your wallet. But you know, when you strive for the best that you can have in your own personal life and you remain clean, you know, especially if you deal with addiction, get your shit together and go skiing. Not that type of skiing though. Real skiing. Yo, I just realized my shirt's got more holes in it. You can't see it. Thank God you can't see my sleeve. My shirt's got a lot of holes on it. Uh, my dog, he likes to, he likes to chew my, my sleeves on my shirts. I don't know why. He's just weird like that. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you took the time to watch this, thank you very much for all the support. And I'll look forward to bringing you guys a lot more. Have a great day. And I'll talk with you again real soon.